And hey, you just heard it from Hallie. Summer is officially here and the weather is just right for getting out on the water, which makes this time a perfect time to get out there and stay cool. Today actually happens to be National Canoe and Kayak Day. Here now with details about water activities happening right here in Southeast Michigan is watershed planner Chris Bobrick with the Clinton River Watershed Council. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, you bet. Thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Yeah, uh, of course. So, uh, Chris, talk to me about what canoeing and kayaking opportunities are available now in Southeast Michigan. You guys kind of just kicked off your season for the summer. <laughs> well, surprisingly, we have such an active paddling group that they've already been paddling the whole year so oh, wow. far. So, but for National Canoe and Kayak Day, we're collaborating with a lot of the Southeast Michigan Watershed Council. So, Huron River, Friends of the Rouge, and friends of the Detroit River. And we're really just trying to engage the public, trying to get them to the river, see the river or lake, and just reconnect them with the, this natural resource that's in our backyard. So tell us a little bit more about the event taking place today. Obviously, it's National Canoe and Kayak Day. Are there different locations, different launch sites that you're encouraging people to go to? Absolutely. There's We actually have a microsite or a website that's available that shows all the, lists all of the opportunities. And that's at um, canoeandkayakday.com. But for the Clinton River Watershed Council, we're hosting, a, we're calling it a pop-up paddle, where we're hosting at uh, River Bends Park in Shelby Township. Um, there's a, an access point off of Ryan Road. We're just gonna paddle to Utica, right by Jimmy John's Field, and um, good opportunity to walk the downtown and uh, just a different way to experience our communities. I like what you called it, a, a pop-up paddle. Now, now <laughs> that trip from Utica, how long of a paddle is that, Chris? Oh, well, we're anticipating, since the water levels are might be a little bit low today, about two and a half, three hour paddle. So not too bad. Uh, we do uh, hope that the in individuals that are gonna accompany us have a little bit of experience because we're gonna be testing a new mobile app that we have for the Clinton River. So um, some more experienced paddlers to really help us test that application. That's great. And you know, in the past, I've spoken to folks at the Clinton River watershed, also fo uh, friends of the Rouge, and they've talked about how the health of our rivers in Metro Detroit are improving. They've been steadily improving in, in recent years. And one way to see the evidence of that is to actually get out on the water and see some of the wildlife returning. Is that something that you think draws people to these types of paddles? Absolutely. Yeah, you, you are correct. It's a quiet adventure and you will see things that you normally won't see walking or driving or sitting still. Um, just being connected, listening to the water that slips through your kayak. It's just a wonderful experience. And, and Chris, for first time canoers, kayakers, do you have any tips for them? And are there times when the rivers may not be safe to get out there? What are some tips for beginners? Oh, geez, there, there are a lot, and, and all these tips can be found on our website, but uh, first things that come to mind are kind of common sense, and there are other ones that um, more experienced paddlers will, will uh, enlighten you on, but wear your life vest. That's the number one thing. Never paddle alone, and know your skills. Be true to yourself, because the river can be dangerous at times. And the benefit of these uh, these paddle groups is that you're always going to have people with you. So, you know, for, for those beginners, they'll have a little bit of a guide there. Absolutely. Uh, this is one day and we're going to be paddling and hosting events throughout the year. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Chris Bobrick with the Clinton River Shed Water Council. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much.